I mean, the salt will forever be there. <laughs> Salty um, after the all these years. You have just become one with the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? No, I've become one of the mountain in which the goats seek the mineral. That's how much I've become a salt. <laughs> Hello, oh followers. This is Two Girls, One Egg. We are back from our really not scheduled hiatus where my computer crashed and I lost all of our episodes. So, uh, time to, like, stop crying and make some more episodes. <laughs> I am Sam, and today I'm followed by... Um, I'm Kitsune. And guest starring Silver Sky. Okay, so we're gonna talk about two articles I found randomly on Tumblr, because, uh, why the fuck not? Um, the two articles are one from Katatsu talking about uh, the freaking Mass Effect Andromeda uh, future, and the one from Bleeding Cool, which I don't even know if these are like credible sources, but this one brings up Dragon Age 4. So we'll start with the Katatsu one, and we'll just go into, um, we'll like link the thing down there so you can read it first if you want to pause and then come back to us, but we're going to be talking about the future of Mass Effect uh Andromeda. Okay, so the article pretty much, in short, um, says that a good part of Bioware's, I guess, people are actually going to work on the new Star Wars Battlefront game coming out, so their staff in Montreal has been extremely shortened, and it looks like everything's kind of being put on hiatus. There isn't talk about any new games right now. So yeah, so like... My typical problem with this situation is because of the way Mass Effect uh, Andromeda was handled that it's really disappointing because they have like things coming up for Mass Effect Andromeda like DLC and future installments and they pretty much in this article have just mentioned that mm, that stuff has been they're put on hold and with them not having the greatest staff to begin with and then having less staff is like so f infuriating. It's like so problematic. So, I guess I'm abbreviating the articles. <laughs> um, the next article was kind of just like a, like a blog response. Um, what is his name? The creative director for Dragon Age came out and just said that, you know, we're not working on Dragon Age, but if we were, I'd have all these cool ideas. And the person who responded, or the girl who wrote the article, just stated that, you know... The Dragon Age isn't being worked on, but, you know, there's a lot of, you know, people saying that there's going to be really cool ideas with it, and that if, you know, whenever it does start, that they really hope that Dragon Age is going to just fulfill its promise to, you know, focus on the Exalted March, for example, instead of just constantly talking about it. <laughs> so, that was the summary of that very, very short article that I have a lot of problems with, but... I mean, go ahead. Well, I mean, one... Everybody at that studio, as far as I'm aware, they are under contract to not say shit about the game until they're allowed to say shit about the game. And for the past year at least, I know if you check out, you know, the Twitter pages for the creative director for Dragon Age or you look at Patrick Weeks, I mean, people are all the time asking them, you know, like, hey, you know, what do you think about this? Or, you know... I have a question, will Dragon Age focus on, you know, dragons? And they respond with, well, if we were working on Dragon Age, it'd be focusing more on the age. Or if I was working on Dragon Age, I'm getting all these really cool ideas about wolves. Or, if, you know, they'll put up a picture of something Dragon Age related being like, ha 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 ha. And then you, you have to also consider the fact that within the past year, at least, um, what was it, back in September, October, they released a bunch of, like, game images, you know, from that book that they have, they used for Inquisition originally, that had, like, a lot of, you know, previews for what possibly could be Dragon Age 4, so I think that the people working on Dragon Age, or the, com the group of people who technically work on that game alone, I think they have at least written down or come up with a storyboard for the game, and they probably have done actually a lot more than we might have, think, you know, thought that they had. I just think they're not allowed to really talk about it. And I think this whole, you know, speculation that, oh, they haven't started on anything and they're just being a bunch of dicks, it's probably wrong. There's, this was what, back in, I think I saw this back in December, actually, no, more like October, some guy put up a picture of two wolves or a wolf, like, in a 
into some kind of smaller wolves and wrote, I've been studying wolves, figured I should make something more polished of them. And Patrick Weeks responded with, well, now I have ideas. <laughs> so, I mean, people are, I can also send you the link to that, by the yeah, way, if no you want to see that. But, um, I mean, people are constantly, you know, writing crap or saying stuff about Dragon Age, you know, in hopes of, you know, sparking, like, a, a legit, you know, yes or no response from, you know, weeks especially. It looks like he gets the most shit about it because he writes Solus. <laughs> and he's written a lot of good characters. So, I, I just think this constant, you know, I don't think they're doing anything is just crap. That's just my problem with Bioware in general. Like, it's not how it used to be. I mean, it's constantly been changing, but this new change is not the best change. Um, from what I'm understanding, you're totally right. They can't talk about it because how the marketing plan has been going for their recent games, it's very hush-hush. Like, if anything goes wrong and we have to scrap ideas, we don't want to promise nothing anymore. Which I'm all for, but the way they're handling it is like... I guess could be more professional, I guess, maybe? Yeah, I think that's just EA as a whole. Yeah, it's just their publication and marketing problems is all it is. And, and like I said, I think a lot of people are speculating that E3's next month, that that's going to be at least... A, there is a chance that they're going to drop Dragon Age 4 finally, like some kind of bombshell for it. I mean, we'll oh, be there, God. too. <laughs> we'll Please. <work. laughs> I, I mean, it would make sense because... Last year, the main bomb dropping for EA was Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we can only bitch, hope. I, I better be getting some Dragon Age Four shit soon because it, it I, I'm kind book. of I'm working my way through sanity at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it was dry as hell. Need need that so thirsty like can you eat that water. I need some lotion to quench my skin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh man, I just. When it does drop and we get the information, we'll make a video. Then it would just be us, like, being Screaming. like, thank you. Just, thank you so much. Just, ah! <laughs> I just, I, I, honest to God, I really, really, really hope they do not do the same shit they did with Mass Effect to this game. Like I said, it's like a different, it's a different studio, so it's, yeah. I don't, I really don't believe it's going to be handled the same way. Well, it better not be. I mean, if they're be. smart, it won't be. And yeah. as bad as everyone says Mass Effect Andromeda is, it's not a bad game. It's just, it was handled incorrectly, marketing-wise. Like, the game got shipped out way too early, everyone had to touch it way too early, and they didn't let any, like, any reviewers get on their hands on it before, like, the public did. They got it at the same time, so then everyone just had to rush through it, and that's not fun. You can't play a game like Mass Effect or Dragon Age and, like, get through it in a week that you just ruin the whole experience for yourself so the fact that they had to do that just it came out with all these terrible reviews and it's not even that terrible Ugh, it's just i have so much problems with bioware right now like it's my only source of like really good rpg and it's, it's crushing my heart right now it's like making me hard to be a fan right now i don't know i'm just hoping that when dragon age 4 is announced that it's handled correctly. <laughs> and I get that beautiful Solus S. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's just hope they don't overhaul it like they did with Andromeda, like, last minute for four. Like, please give them their time. Like, in my opinion, Dragon Age has, like, I don't like to choose my favorite child, but, like, Dragon Age has the best story. <laughs> and... I don't want them to, like, have to suffer story-wise for time or effects or whatever. Whatever the fuck they're gonna have problems with. I honestly don't know how they can fuck up the story. I really <laughs> don't. Because there's they so can, much shit in that game. That game is just like a giant textbook of, here's a bunch of shit that happened. Now let's speculate what could happen next. <laughs> uh... I want to do, like, looking forward to the new IP, but I'm really not. I'm, I'm I just really... want more, both, <laughs> the games that are already successful, just work on those. Like, <laughs> like that's what I want more of. <laughs> like, do it until you stop making money from it, like. So, yeah. I as... mean, for me, I'm like, 
I'm not too worried about, like, this, the, you know, if they do a, dra do a Dragon Age 4. I'm like, it's, it's pretty likely that they will, and I'm, like, not really picky, because I enjoy Andromeda, you know, it's not perfect, but I'm also not a very picky person. Like, I don't, I don't care if it, it's not perfect, I just like the story, you know? Yeah. I like that game, I mean, it's not, it's not perfect, <laughs> but I like it. Uh, be satisfied I think, with whatever I get. Honestly. I think the major fear is that it's going to downplay how excellent Inquisition was. So yeah. you you got Inquisition, and then you get something that's like lukewarm. You're like, really? I waited five years for that. Like that. That's the fear, is what it is. On that beautiful note of having Bioware cancer. Even though this was a sad episode, <laughs> we got hope, and uh, we will keep going and doing these whenever we get around to doing these. So stay strong, Bioware brethren, and have a good evening. Bye.